Hello traders and welcome to another video analysis. Today is Wednesday, 20th of the January 2021. Let's take a look at the Forex calendar and then of course we will do some technical analysis. So let's just swipe down for the Wednesday. As you can see, some of the data had been released already, but they were not that much uh, important. The key event of today uh, is, uh, there are two of them. The first is um, consumer price index data from UK, as you can see, it already had been released. Open 3%, so it beats the forecast of 0.2% and it's better than the previous reading of minus 0.1%. Very nice. So we will definitely take a look at the uh, British pound to see what is going on there. The core price index, um, consumer price index data had been better than expected as well, 1.4%. Uh, versus the 1.3 percent uh, retail price index jumped to 0.6 versus the 0.5 forecast and the previous reading of minus 0.3 and as you can see the PP, ppi uh, output uh, is in line with the expectations and the ppi um, output is 0.3 uh, percent so it's better than forecast of 0.2 not too bad data from the uh, from the uk it means that the inflationary pressures are slightly um, uh, accelerating in form of the consumer price index so the consumers pay more for the goods not too much not 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 way too more but something is going on there uh, at 11 o'clock we have a scheduled uh, data release from the eurozone in form of the consumer price index as you can see uh, minus 0.3 percent uh, last reading minus 0.3 percent is the forecast we will see uh, how this will <clears throat> play out if that will be uh, in line with the expectations or even better or worse we will see 11 o'clock and the key event of today, the second key event of today is the uh, Bank of Canada rate uh, statement and the overnight uh, rate uh, decision. So it's an interest rate decision. We got a bunch of the data from the Canada Today Consumer Price Index, um, Common Core PPI, Median Core PPI, Interest Rate, and the Canada, Bank of Canada Monetary Policy report, including the press conference. So as you can see, since half past two to I like five o'clock, uh, the traders will be busy watching the um, the Canadian dollar so um, the expectations are that the Bank of Canada will leave the overnight rate unchanged at the level of 0.25 percent just as it was um, last month so uh, any kind of a uh, hawkish um, uh, clues from the statement or from the uh, uh, press conference will give um, the Canadian dollar a boost, right? So the people will be selling US dollar and buying Canadian dollar. So let's take a look at the chart and we will start from the Canadian dollar. What is the scenario right now? If the uh, uh, market expectations are 0.25%, so if there is a there is a, some kind of a uh, interest rate hike or a hawkish uh, statements, haw hawkish comments, uh, that would mean the uh, market will go lower. So 1.2630 will be violated, most likely it will be violated easily and the new low will be made in this market. However, if there is, on the other hand, different scenario, that is that there is no change or there, there are some bearish, uh, dovish, basically dovish statements from the Bank of Canada members or uh, in form of the statement or, or, or whatever really, that would mean the uh this pattern here might be a double bottom and this trend line might be broken because people will be buying uh, us dollar and selling canadian dollar so that would mean the market would rally would rally above 1.2782 and 27.98 so we we need a close a daily candlestick close above these two levels and then uh, that would be a first indication that our um, downtrend uh, seen on the daily time frame chart of the Canadian dollar is turning to the upside, right? So please watch uh, the uh, interest rate decision and the market reaction on the uh, interest rate decision and then during the uh, statement and press conference on the uh, US dollar versus the Canadian dollar. So this is the USD cat and the uh, other one. Uh, the other event for today is the British pound. So let's take a look on the uh, on, on the cable first to see what is going on. As you can see, we are trading inside of this of this channel. Keep keeps we keep trading inside of this channel. Uh, 
even after this uh, trend line was broken and even after new high was made above 1.34 and 86 uh, this is still an uptrend as you can see the momentum is still above the level of 50 uh, currently is 58 points and the next level to be broken is 1.3705 so this is the level of technical resistance for today it's an intraday resistance as well and uh, if this level is violated then the market can uh, can go can go higher towards 1.38 of course uh, since the few days um, uh, however the the price had been uh, trading inside of this uh, tight range right uh, the basically the high, the first high was made on the 4th of the uh, of the january so it's been like um, well over over two two weeks now we are trading um, between 1.3486 1.3705 so uh, any breakout out of this level it doesn't matter what direction either up or down will be a trigger for another move right so the move might accelerate soon on the british pound uh, and uh, it's it all depends on uh whether it will be an, an up side breakout or downside breakout so please watch 1.3705 uh, 1.3486 and the other thing is euro to the british pound uh this is very interesting chart as well because as you can see we have hit again this technical support i've been mentioning many 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 times 8865 is the key technical support right now and of course it's kind of obvious right now that um, if we will uh, not break back uh, above, let's just adjust our technical resistance right now and make it um, red because it's a resistance now. If we will not bounce back up 8,943 pips, there is no chance apparently this, this market will, uh, will go higher again. So it looks like the market wants to do another another lower low because of this upper shadows as you can see this is daily time frame chart again and we have first upper shadow second third upper shadow so uh, and every time the euro tries to bounce the euro is being sold and the british pound is being bought which means that it indicates again uh the uh, the overall uh demand for the british pound and it might even influence the the cable part the british british pound to american dollar uh, in form of the of course another demand for the for the british pound on this chart as well so the the, the clue for the the for, for the british pound to go higher right above 1.3705 and uh, if we break below 8865 let me just take a look where is the another support i can't see any so let's just um um let's just take a look at the broader picture where well, this is kind of a very very important technical support as you can see very important so if we break below 8865 the next long-term support is somewhere around here and this is 8684 so that's almost yeah that's over uh, like 200 pips and that's a very nice setup for everyone who is trying to to play out this uh, this um, this market behavior this market reaction so please notice 8684 somewhere there is the the next technical support and uh, extreme extreme low was made at the 8671 pips so that's another another level for for the bulls to to observe so please keep an eye keep an eye on the current situation on the um, euro to the british to the british pound because we are at the key technical support right now and everything depends on how this this price action here will be played right now if uh, if there is a breakout to the downside there is a potential for 200 pips move to the downside if there is a breakout to the upside that means we will still be trading inside of this as you can see inside of this this range between this red line which is the uh, mid-term high 9291 and of course the technical support 8865 that we are testing right now so these free markets for today please keep an eye on the levels please um, pay attention to the news and to the data that will be released today from the canada and from the of course um, uh, other other countries like uh, eurozone and the uh, uh, and the uk so uh, thank you very much for watching this uh, analysis and i hope i see you guys tomorrow bye bye